Hello everybody, Saddam here, coming back to you from Houdini 15. And today we're going to look into making a character talk using the Papagayo open source software. So if we go to character and click on simple mail here, turn off our numbers and then spacebar G to get close and then we'll spacebar drag around. This is the new character that came with uh, Houdini 15 and it does have a lot of controls over here and we're going to focus on the face panel only today to see if we can get the mouth moving saying words that are in a wave file and that's what Papagayo is good for it, it, it makes data for us so we're going to uh, look at Papagayo this is the latest one there has been a, an update if you've used it in the past you probably used version 1 uh, this is version 2 um, if I go to my folder here, this is where I have my voiceover, Bourbon Sun VO. And if I drag and drop that in there, Papagayo reads the file. These should probably be 16-bit mono. Uh, it may read stereo. I'm not sure. Shaky wake a tire tube. So basically, Papagayo looks at a wave file and it detects these gaps in between. So you really want a clean voiceover if possible. You don't want a lot of noise or music in this silent area. And if you have to actually speak the track again, that's okay because you can always swap in the original track at some later point. Now the next step is uh, we want to grab the text of what the, the WAV file is actually saying. And when I paste this in, each line, uh, Papagayo will create a green band or a green, uh, I don't know what this would be called, a green layer basically for every line of text that you have. And then for every word within that line of text, it's going to make an orange bar that spans within the green bar. So if you click, you can drag the green bar and resize it to cover the range that that you want to focus on. And then if you double click the green bar, shaky wake a tire tube, it will play the entire all the layers underneath. Now if I click double click on just this word, wake a it's going to play what it thinks that whole line is or that whole bar coverage. So Let's just kind of line these up a bit. I think wake, wake needs to come forward and shaky needs to go out. So now I can go shaky, maybe once. Shaky, wake, got tired, tube. And that's it. You just line all these up. You set your frame rate, 24, this is important. It needs to match whatever you're running at. And in Houdini, the default is 24. So these defaults match. You click the export button and uh, I've already exported a couple of data files and then we can move on to the next step. So we have data, right? So now how do we get our um, data to drive these mouth positions or, or to drive all these controls? And we're going to do that with Python. So I'm going to drop down a Python node. And we'll pop out to the text editor and look at the code. I've made it a bit larger, so hopefully it will be easier to read. Um, there's the top half, and then I can go down here. There's the bottom half. And then I can go in here. Here's kind of the middle. So if you notice what I've done is I've created Python variables that match these exact names over here. So I have an EE, -E, an OO, -oo, a CEE, -E, an F, and to make this say E shape, we could set these values 0 0.778. So let's do that 0 0.778, and then 0 0.047 for OO, 0 0.047 and then uh, 0 0.103 for CEE, 0 0.103, and then, I'm getting lost here, and then 212 for F, 0 0.212.
And there it is. That is my face shape for that particular phoneme, which happens to be the E sound. Now these other values represent like L or M or rest or O. This has the jaw open as well. So let's go ahead and put, paste this code in. Control A, copy, get it all. Go to the Python script and we'll remove this code. and we'll paste in the script code from the text editor. Now it immediately breaks, and if we middle click, we can read, it says, no such file or directory. This is gonna be the most common error, so I'm just gonna cover this. We'll drag this out like this. And it happens on this file name line. Now I copied this from another part of my disk, so it no longer matches. So let's go ahead and match it up. And I'll just go out to my file browser here and then I'll click this field up here and it highlights the whole path so I'm just going to copy that and we'll paste it in front of that slash so that it's now pointing to this desktop folder with my dat bourbon sun dat file and now when I click away it's no longer in error state and if I scrub you can see the mouth is now moving. It's reading this dat file, and there's one shape there. Let's see if, uh, do we have a, let's say, let's improve this code here. Let's see, we are printing the, uh, I'm gonna do control B, so I can see all the code here. We're printing, it says we're printing the, we're printing the frame for sure. So let's do this. We will print the, frame comma phoneme. I think you can do that in Python. Control B, click away. And now when we scrub, we can see the phoneme is listed down here. 75 rest. MB, let's see if we can find that. Uh, oh, there we go. It's right here. 112 U. So if we look at, say, our data file here, we can see round 112, there it is, 112 U. So that is the U shape being displayed at uh, frame number 112. So in order to put this whole thing together, you have to render your footage out, then in a compositor, drop in the WAV file. Because as you can see already, um, I can't play this at real time. I'm alternating between four frames a second and 100 frames a second. So even if I go to real time here, it's still kind of skippy and jumpy. Notice how it's going from green to white. So to so what I did is I, I rendered my, my footage out kind of quickly at a low quality. Then I dropped my WAV file into my compositor, which happened to be After Effects at this point, and I set my composition to 24 frames in After Effects, and then I press play. Shaky wake a tire tube passing through your new blue cube. Spent, black, mud, shun, Bosco house, bourbon sun. So, so it definitely looks robotic, um, but the mouth is moving in time, and you can work on these shapes. Remember, these shapes are just numbers that are in your Python code here. You could um, redefine these numbers and redefine the shape and get a better look out of it. I'm certainly no phoneme expert or even a, uh, this, this whole rig is new to me. So I thought I would try it out to see if this is a possibility for lip sync. Uh, for me, it kind of is. I may pursue this a little better. Um, maybe we could find a way to bake this data and then sculpt it a little in chops or something. But I wanted to throw this out there, um, let everyone uh, take a look at it, and uh, I guess that's it. I'm out.